Sussex appalled. Rachel Keneally's £2 wedding dress ruthlessly beats out Meghan £110,000 whopping one. Rachel Keneally took to TikTok to showcase her beautiful outfit that she wore on her big day, explaining, I thrifted this silk dress right after we got engaged and still wore it for the ceremony. A bride has revealed how she managed to get a stunning wedding dress for just £2, which looked so good and she was likened to Meghan Markle. Rachel Keneally took to TikTok to showcase her beautiful outfit that she wore on her big day. She explained, I thrifted this silk dress right after we got engaged and still wore it for the ceremony. My ceremony dress from Goodwill for $3, 2 pounds and 26 pence. And it wasn't the only dress she wore for the wedding. In another video, she revealed she had a smaller, frilly outfit for her reception which, again, cost barely anything at $5, 3 pounds and 77 pence. The outfits were praised by viewers, who said Rachel looked beautiful on the big day. The thrifting gods really have her, one said. Another commented, Oh I'm jealous, it looks stunning. A third added, You remind me of gorgeous Meghan Markle here. Congratulations. The Duchess of Sussex's dress for her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry cost a whopping £110,000 so Rachel can safely say she got the better deal. Meghan's marriage to Prince Harry took place in Windsor on May 19, 2018 and there was a lot of speculation about her wedding dress beforehand. Meghan stunned onlookers as she arrived at St. George's Chapel in Windsor in a stunning bespoke gown by Givenchy, created by British designer Claire Waite Keller, which is estimated to cost around £110,000. Meghan and Claire worked closely together on the design, which featured a graphic open bateau neckline that gracefully framed the shoulders and emphasized Meghan's slender waist. It had a 16-feet train and veil which was adorned with the flowers of the 53 Commonwealth countries, and it took an incredible 3,900 hours over the course of four months to create. It was confirmed she wore Queen Mary's diamond bandeau, made in 1932. It had the previous owner's name and her phone number and said, would really love to see of photos of the next owner's wedding. The royal wedding in 2018 was watched by an estimated 11.5 million people, but eagle-eyed viewers have noticed an interesting detail of the day three years on. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have since stepped back as working royals and now live in California. They have signed multiple deals and have worked to become financially independent. On their special day in Windsor on 19 May 2018, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex drove off in a vintage jaggery type after the pair said I do. Social media users have pointed out a sweet detail on the number plate. Fans realized the numbers and letters signified the date of their wedding, E190518, which translates to established 19 May 2018, the day they exchanged vows reported the cute detail and shared the reaction of social media users. Yo I am so embarrassed, one Twitter user wrote. They added, I was watching the royal wedding for the 200th time and it's only now that I noticed the license plate. Another fan claimed, I never knew. Thanks for sharing. Meghan and Harry are so intentional in everything they do. Just special, they added. It was reported that the Duke and Duchess had only rented the silver blue 1968 Jaguar for the day, but because they were driving on private property and not public roads, the customized plate was legal. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding at St. George's Chapel was a star-studded event, but it was relatively small for a royal wedding. The chapel has room for 800 guests but the affair was even smaller since Prince Charles only sent out 600 invites on behalf of his son and future daughter-in-law. This may not sound small, but 1,900 were invited to Prince William and Kate Middleton's Westminster Abbey ceremony. Even more guests were invited to Prince Charles and Diana's royal wedding, with a whopping 3,500 guests. Charles and Diana's special day is the most watched royal wedding in the world, with around 750 million people watching around the globe.